You're watching the 2022 ACI Senate Open Forum. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by Idaho Public Television, Students of Jam 404, Student Media, and ASUI. Tonight's candidates are Bree Torres, Blake Shu, Hector Guerrero, and Jared Sherman. Here is ASUI's Director of Internal Services, John Webb. Good evening, I'm John Webb, the ASUI Director of Internal Services. Thanks for joining us for the ASUI Senate Open Forum. We'd like to first thank the Idaho Public Television Studios, Sav, Alalia, Shea, Daniel, and Brock, who are working behind the scenes to make this broadcast happen. We'd also like to thank our panelists for joining us tonight. To my left, we have Sierra Pesnell, the News Director for KUOI, and to my right, Royce McCandless, the ASUI Beat Reporter for The Argonaut. This semester, we have six open Senate seats with six candidates. Of the six candidates, four are here tonight. From the left, we have Hector Guerrero, Bree Torres, Blake Shu, and Jared Sherman. Danny Carranza and Katie Rode could not attend this evening's open forum. Tonight, each candidate will have up to three minutes to respond to each question. Opponents can challenge a candidate's response and will be allowed one minute to do so. First off, I'm going to give you three minutes to talk more about yourself and the campaign you're running on. And Hector, we'll begin with you. Um, hi, everyone. So my name is Hector Guerrero. I am running for ASUI Senate. I am studying psychology with a minor in Spanish. I am involved. I am currently vice president of Omega Delta Phi, a former camp scholar and a current trio a member. I am running alongside Daniela Aguilar, which unfortunately couldn't make it this time but catch her at the next one and my platforms that I will be running on will be sustainability, resources, involvement, and accessibility. Hi my name is uh, Bree Torres and I am a criminology student with a minor in psych and soch. Um, I am involved in campus through Tri Delta and uh, Crim Club. And then I am running off a platform of Vandal Family or Community, Sustainability, and Education. And I'm really just passionate about making the university back to normal, if that makes sense. Pre-COVID, I feel like the university has just changed a lot, and that's the main thing that I'm running for ASUI. Hi, my name is uh, Blake Shu. I am a freshman at University of Idaho studying business finance. I am part of Theta Chi fraternity, and my three platforms are clubs, student engagement, and pride. My main one would be student engagement along with events and getting everybody together to get familiar with everything around campus and just, have, just having everyone come together. Uh, hi, my name is Jared Sherman. I am an HR and management emphasis in small business entrepreneurship major. And uh, my main uh, platform is student involvement, student feedback, first generation college student resources, and bridging the gap between uh, Greek Row housing and off campus students. All right, so our first question is what experience, be they academic? or extracurricular do you have that you feel will make you uniquely suited for a position on the ASUI body? Bree. Um, I think I bring a little bit of like extra, um, like more fun things to do for the like education side of it. I am actually just transitioned as the academic chair for Delta 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 and I'm really passionate about education because that's the reason why we're all here. Um, I think that overall, like connecting with other people um, through like their majors as well as just like clubs and campus will definitely help all students kind of like enjoy college more. And if you enjoy it more, you're going to try better and stay committed to being at the university. And overall, I think that that'll encourage future generations of vandals to be excited to come here and yeah. Thank you. Um, can you repeat the question quick? Yeah, it's what experience, be they academic or extracurricular, do you have that you feel will make you uniquely suited for a position on the ASUI body? Okay. Thank you. Um, for, for this question, I'd say I am the Brotherhood Chairman of Theta Chi, so I figure out what everyone wants to do for events-wise and figure out what would they would like to do for which day 
I try to play one every two once one of them every two weeks. And along with being on many sports groups during my high school career, I've learned to work with many people and not be frustrated with people and um, take responsibility for my actions and figure out the solution to all problems. And yeah, just working together with everybody, I feel like I'm very good with. Um, so I have been involved in a leadership position in one way or another uh, from the last six years. Um, I've worked with uh, student council, in, uh, mostly in high school, and I worked with a variety of different people with uh, different opinions, different ways of doing things, um, things like that. So I'm really good with working um, with people with very different opinions and beliefs. Um, I was also a state officer for a organization called FCCL FCCLA, or Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. Um, I held positions uh, such as uh, Vice President of Parliamentary Procedure, which will help me um, get through the Senate's um, parliamentary procedures faster so that I can start working um, to focus on students and their issues um, quicker before I have to learn the procedures because I already know them. I also worked as a Vice President of Engagement through that. And with that, I um, obviously have some experience working with students from across the state of Idaho to uh, have engagement um, and working with them and people who lead. Um, so with those experiences and hopefully the experiences I have coming this next semester, I will be able to bring that uniqueness to ASUI. So I believe my knowledge of the leadership experience FHLA and started doing sports. I feel like that was my best way of getting involved and gaining leadership experience. I also attended many like summer activities, which presented us to different companies around the area and different universities and colleges and just taught us basic skills to like become better leaders and be better involved with each other and get along. And then during when I came up to college, I was part of camp. Camp is a program that helps first generation migrant wor migrant worker students to succeed in higher education. I feel like in that experience, I was taught a lot about how higher ed works and what I can do to be better involved, what I can do to better lead everybody. And I, I think also what I wanna do from this setting position is represent underrepresented community at the University of Idaho, just because I believe there's not many people like from my group that are in, involved in things like this. So our next question has a follow-up, but um, why do you think your relationship with the Idaho legislature is important? And do you think ASUI currently has a strong connection with the Idaho State Legislature? Um, for this question, I believe it's very important to, for students to know how and why we should be voting in the process in which we should be learning how to vote because I feel like a lot of people don't really realize how it actually works and how we should be represented in that kind of way. Uh, yeah, uh, along with that, I really believe that it is the responsibility of not just students, but also the public as a whole to um, exercise their right to vote, um, as it is very important, and to really um, emphasize that I, I want to give more education towards voting and why it's important and how there are a lot of bills on the Senate on the House and Senate floor at the Capitol that represent higher education and students yeah so going off what they said pretty much is just further educating students of more specifically what the bills are or like what's going on at the current uh, legislator things like that or why voting is important. Again, I, oh my goodness, sorry. Um, I completely agree with everyone. Um, I do think that as ASUI, it should be like, they should be involved in legislation. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I think we should be involved in the legislative work of like Idaho, but I don't think it should be like politicized I think it should just be stuff to do with like higher education because that's the only like that's the only thing that we stand for as a university is higher education 
Every 14 hours, someone is a victim of sexual assault in the state of Idaho. Um, as you know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. What are some projects that you plan to work on to bring more awareness? And Jared, we'll begin with you. Um, so obviously with it being um, April, Sexual Awareness Month is this month. And there's a lot of programs through like the Women's Center and um, organizations such as that that are really focusing on that right now. And I would really like to expand that um, as I work through the Senate and really have people understand that this is a problem that people face and it's not just because it hasn't affected you doesn't mean it does not happen. Uh, I feel like this is a topic that I've heard about ever since I came up. Uh, I've been able to like see firsthand with, like what this can do to people and how to, how it can better, how to better help people that go through this. I already see that ASUI has a lot of things happening to race awareness, especially in April. I was looking at the calendar yesterday. Seems like there's some going on today, some in the couple, in the more couple of weeks. I think what we should focus on more as uh, student government is advertising this to the students. I agree with Hector that we should advertise it more. I think that overall the biggest issue uh, with sexual assault and like everything is reporting. And I know that from my crim classes, um, just because people just don't report them and it's not like it's just not reported. And then the high, the numbers are probably much higher because of that. So I feel like just advocating for people to report, especially like right away, because the sooner you do it and the more evidence you have, that's when we can do something about it, if that makes sense. Along with what Bree said is very well, um, I feel like it'd be a great way for uh, to get groups to come out and help uh, realize what's happening and make them feel comfortable on what they're saying and make them feel protected because a lot of people are scared to report those things, as Bree said. And it's very uh, crucial that we do that within the, like, having those groups. I remember seeing one around campus uh, explaining that, and I really feel like that's a big thing to do. All right. Hector, starting with you, are there any significant changes or issues you are hoping to pursue as a member of ASUI's legislative body? Uh, I'm not sure if there's any significant changes that I'm aware of going on. I just know that with my position, my biggest my biggest reason for running is to increase involvement within different communities and different groups on campus. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, are there any significant changes or issues you are hoping to pursue as a member of ASUI's legislative body? Um, as I said earlier, the number one thing that I am hoping to change in ASUI is just getting the community back to where it used to be. Everyone like being happy and like going like saying hi on hello walk and like just like things like that encouraging vandals to just be friendly to one another be kind to one another and just accept for them for who they are um, I think the last couple of years with COVID we have been stuck inside and we haven't been able to communicate with each like each other very often or as much um, so I just think that communicating and creating events for people to get or vandals to get uh, connected and everything would definitely help with that. Um, along with what Bree said, one of my platforms is student engagement and I feel like my main topic for that would be events is to get everyone engaged and everyone come together and have a good time and getting to know everybody from other houses, groups, organizations, fraternities, sororities and have everyone come together and just be happy and Obviously, like I said, meet other people is a big thing. Connections is very big on campus. I feel like that is a big deal around campus that we need to change. Um, yeah, like what they said, uh, I think it's really important that we start to increase um, student involvement. Um, but another thing, I would really like to um, have bigger events, but also to include more student feedback. Um, I think it's really important that students 
um, not only have the option to give feedback, but they understand why it's important. And to have that feedback that they give actually means something. And um, yeah, just having that level of feedback along with those big events would uh, create an environment where everyone feels heard. Bree, what potential opportunities do you think ASUI is lacking for students? That is a good question. Um, I think communication a little bit, just because I, like, even when I started campaigning, like, I've had a lot of people that, like, I'm friends with and just, like, people that I went up to at the library and stuff that didn't know really what ASUI was. Um, I think just kind of advertising ASUI a little bit more, maybe advertising the Instagram um, so that we can reach more students. Um, and I know that, like, we do do a good job of that, but it just could be improved considering that a lot of people don't know about it. Bree said, I think it's a very good uh, idea. I have a lot of people in my fraternity that are in ASUI, and they've come and talked to me about it and whatnot. So I know a little bit about it, or no, not a little bit, a lot about it now, but obviously. But yeah, like I've seen like the, the takeovers they do on Instagram. I think that's a really cool idea, and I think that's great to do, and it gets people involved and engaged on what's going on, just the ASUI members and what's going on in their daily lives. And it's just cool to get to know what they're doing. Yeah, along with that, um, people really don't know what ASUI is. Um, I know when I was saying, hey, I'm running for senator, um, everyone's like, oh, for, for, for what? <laughs> and uh, they just, even if they know what ASUI is, they don't know what ASUI does. Um, for example, I know that their ASUI Senate passes um, bills during midterms and finals um, to hand out snacks and um, different resources to help with um, midterms and finals and the stress that is involved with that. But nobody knows that ASUI does that. They just see stuff. <laughs> and so doing stuff like that and um, increasing the knowledge about that and who does that is important. Yeah, this is going to seem like a repetitive answer, but I feel like I agree with everybody and their answer so far. I feel like we should just, ASUI is already doing a lot, and I feel like just not enough students are involved in advertising that or creating more like incentives or uh, inviting people to come, I feel like would be a good idea. Blake, how do you respond to opposing viewpoints, and do you feel the way you respond is a strength or a weakness? Um, that's a very good question. I feel like I am very good with other people's viewpoints. I do very well with taking other people's opinions and giving them my opinion as well, but doing it in a very caring manner and really taking in their opinions, like I said, and getting to know what they're all about and getting to know what their views are. And I love that because it makes me a better person in general, just to get a lot of that environment around me where I can learn for myself and learn about others and they can learn from me. Um, one thing I really like to focus on um, when hearing an opposing viewpoint is to really listen and then um, going beyond listening, trying to understand why they might f like think that way um, and really their background, um, not just their surface beliefs and, you know, what they're saying. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, when it comes to opposing viewpoints, I always try to approach it with an open mind. I always try to understand their perspective of it and like why they believe or think things are like that. And then I go usually based upon what they say, then share my viewpoint and try to compromise, find the point in between. Um, very similar to Hector, I, um, I like to engage in the conversation that I'm having just because I want them to know that I'm trying to understand their viewpoint. Um, and honestly, I think it's just being open-minded and being there for that person, like just like sharing your views, they can share um, theirs with me. Um, it's just overall just being open-minded. All right, Jared, starting with you, are there any student concerns that you feel have been failed to be properly addressed by ASUI? And if so, how do you go about seeing that these issues are resolved? Uh, yeah, it's a great question. Um, so uh, part of that is 
Um, well, ASUI is really trying, along with a lot of other organizations, to increase student involvement. There has been um, a lack of that, and obviously COVID's part of that. Um, as of us coming out of COVID, I think it's a really good time to start bringing a lot of big events back onto campus and to start um, having events not just from housing, not just from Greek life, and not just um, events on the tower lawn that no off-campus person could possibly know about. Um, I think it's really important that we have um, events that everyone wants to do and everyone would choose to come to. Um, despite homework and stuff like that, especially at the beginning of the semester. Um, I think that's really important, and that would really start to help get student involvement back in. Because if you're involved at the beginning of the year, there's a higher chance that you'll be involved throughout the year. Yeah, are there any student concerns that you feel that fail to be properly addressed by ASUI, and how do you go about seeing that these issues are resolved? I'm going to have to agree with Jared. I think it's going to have to be involvement. So my freshman year, the way that I usually got involved was attending those big events. I feel like that's when you find out more about things or get meet more people. The The reason why I had to attend those events is usually because of camp, but it was one of the reasons why I was able to be introduced to many of the opportunities. I also know that around 60% of students are off campus. So I feel like inviting them more to those would create a better experience. I agree with everyone. I think those are all really good things that need to be addressed. Um, I think that parking is a big issue that a lot of students complain about. Um, I really liked that Tanner and Madison, uh, the two running for um, president and VP, Tanner had the good idea of using Uber to limit Par or limit parking and just like be more eco-friendly and I think that that's just a really good option because I never really thought about that because the Uber is an option for us as students. Said and earlier um, with like you know COVID and whatnot it was hard to reach out to people obviously in person and whatnot but I think ASUI is doing a very good job of getting people involved and trying to plan really good events as long as like this um, sorry with the spring event they planned yesterday was went very well it looked like I wasn't able to make it but it looked very well and along with what um, Jared said earlier with the feedback with events I feel like is a very good opportunity and idea that would be very good for students to get a say in what, what we do next and what the events we have planned are coming. What are ways you'd like to improve the student experience? I think I'm going to have to just base off my platform, so accessibility, sustainability, involvement, and resources. So with involvement, the way I can better student experience is just by either creating more events or advertising the events better, which I feel like enhances student experience for most students. And then for resources, I just also advertising. I feel like there's a lot of resources on campus that a lot of students don't know about. For example, SafeWalk. I recently found out what that was and I feel like that's something that more students can use and most students don't know what to use. And then accessibility, I feel like the best way to deal with that is hear from student feedback, see what limits them and then accommodate to their needs. And then sustainability is just, I feel like just push forward what ASUI has already done and educate students on how to be better sustainable. Um, I think that just more events on campus um, would be great. I think that it honest, honestly, because that fact that 60% of students live off campus, I think it would be cool just to maybe do something off campus if possible, just because it would be more accessible to those students instead of having to drive to campus. Um, I also think that, again, the education uh, side of Everything is important, and if you're have if you're, it's easier for you to get through school. You're going to have a better time in college and more enjoyable. So if we provide those resources and um, help the students that are struggling with their education, then we can kind of collectively, hopefully, like 
just have a better time here at U of I. Um, I probably sound like a broken record already, but events are very big, as everyone says. And in one of my opinions, I think clubs are a very good way to meet new people and get involved within the university and have a better time as a student. Because I feel like we don't utilize those enough to where we have a great time with those. And I feel like a lot of people would be involved if they knew more about it. And I feel like that would be a main thing for me. Um, yeah, to go off of that, um, there's a lot of student involvement that we could improve on. Um, and I like what you said about um, clubs. Uh, clubs are one of the most important, I think, uh, parts of student involvement on campus uh, because there's pretty much a club for everything that you would possibly want or need. Um, and if there's not, it's not too hard to make one. And so I think that's a really great opportunity for a lot of students. Um, and there's, and that you don't, you can be part of any living group to be a part of those as well. Um, another thing would also be to um, have feedback, feedback to see what students would like to see, um, what students are missing, um, in order to really see what experience they're missing out on. Um, I know one worry uh, is grades, so making sure that there are resources on campus and um, outreach about those resources on campus to students um, in housing, such as the Student Success Program, um, Greek Life I know has their study tables or um, whichever, like whatever house name calls it. Um, and then off-campus students, there's the tutoring in the library, stuff like that. And I think that's really important because you can have all the fun, but we're here to get educated as well. So having those resources to have the good grades to be able to go out and do fun things is really important as well. Bree, what kind of academic initiatives do you think ASUI should take on, and how would you accomplish that? Um, I think the initiatives that we should take on um, is just supporting students, creating uh, the resources that they need. Um, I think it would be very like uh, beneficial if we were to create like opportunities at the beginning of the semester for students to like come if they need help with certain things like for example like if you want to create a spreadsheet for all of your classes or all of the assignments in all of your classes like doing some kind of presentation on that at the beginning of the semester helping students get prepared before their get, get, grades get bad I think is important I think it'd make it a lot easier to come back from that as well um, as long as uh, along as with well sorry along with what Bree said and Jared along with the resources is very good to utilize those and know about them because I feel like a lot of people don't use them or know about them enough to where they will go and be oh yeah I can you'll use this whatever time like the Poly lab was very good for me for math class and whatnot and I feel like like the writing center for good for essays and whatnot and I feel like that is something that we should work on more and get those out there more and have people more or people know about them. I think it's really important to have education because each living group has options for um, tutoring, um, academic study. But I also really like what Bree said about um, really having a preventive measure to like help with people's grades. Because if people know when their assignments are due, um, how much time theoretically it's supposed to take, then it's a lot easier to understand when you should plan to do those assignments and stuff like that because it's hard to come back from a bad grade than to always be on top of it and have a good grade. I think I'm just going to have to agree with anybody. I feel like, well, everybody, I think ACY, the most they can do is have the resources and I feel like they have a lot, a lot that most students don't utilize. For example, CEDAR, Women's Center, Diversity Center. There's so many people they can reach out to that will help them with whatever they need, be that organization, mental health, uh, learning disabilities. So I feel like as long as we push those resources and get students better prepared, they will be more academically successful. Blake, one of the senator's foremost duties is to ensure that their constituents are heard from prior to making a vote on legislation. Are there any strategies you would implement to ensure students' voices especially those holding a minority position on issues, are being heard? Uh, can you repeat that real quick, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 
Senators' foremost duties is to ensure that their constituents are heard from prior to making a vote on legislation. Are there any strategies you would implement to ensure students' voices, especially those holding a minority position, are being heard? I feel like just going around and talking to everybody, especially like in classrooms and within houses and organizations and uh, residence halls, and getting their feedback on what they want and what they think about, because I think that's a big deal with uh, everybody in the minorities and whatnot, to uh, get the feedback that they want and not just have the feedback of the people that they want to hear, is the feedback of everybody in the university that, they, that we really need to focus on. Um, yeah, that's a great question. Um, I would say that having an open line of communication between ASUI um, at all times, not just during the Senate meetings, because um, maybe uh, people can't come to the Senate meetings for whatever reason, um, and talk about a certain issue. Having an open line of communication between clubs and individuals to be able to reach out to um, any one of the senators as well as um, ASUI president or vice president, um, I think it's really important that we keep our um, communication open because that is what we're here for, is to represent the students. Yes, I feel like just receiving feedback, setting up feedback, uh, or suggestion boxes or be it online. I feel like also being part of this minority group will allow me to better communicate with this, uh, these different groups, which would allow me to better implement their voices in Senate. Um, I think that, Okay, can you actually repeat the question? Sorry, again. <laughs> yeah, um, are there any strategies that you would implement to ensure students' voices, especially those holding a minority position on issues, are being heard? Okay, um, I think that creating a like fun way for people to submit um, like their opinions and stuff would be beneficial because then it would encourage students to do it um, more. And I think for minority groups, it contacting the clubs that are in place already, having Hector contact people that he's involved or friends with. Um, I just feel like overall just contacting a lot of clubs, um, groups on campus, organizations, um, as well as just advertising like in like all of the buildings on campus I feel like will help just because a lot of the advertisement is just in the TLC in the commons. So. Jared, the pa this past week, International Oriented Clubs hosted a fundraising week to bring awareness and raise money for relief to Ukrainian people. Why do you think it is important for ACUI to provide advocacy to people outside of the state? Um, so yeah, with that, having and like keeping up to date on issues that are facing um, the state of Idaho, our local community, federal government, and then obviously with uh, Ukraine, um, Having being responsive to what students would like um, and having an option open to support um, individuals in Ukraine w is really important um, because donations and being able to um, facilitate the use of those donations to another country is something that is really unique and a really amazing opportunity for us to be able to do. Um, and so in related issues like that, I think it's a really um, ASUI is an incredible tool to be able to use to uh, represent student interests, not just here, but also um, being able to put students' money to help people in need. So oh, I feel like the reason why it is important that we help outside of the state, especially for this circumstance, is because we all understand that this is something very big. I believe that ASUI is doing a very good job at um, educating students and helping with that. I know the day that it started, or like, yeah, the day that it started, um, you, the university had an informational for any student that wanted to further educate themselves. And in this informational, professors taught us about uh, the NATO expansion, the protests in 2016, possible reasons for why uh, Putin might have like decided to do what he did. So I feel like ASUI is doing a very good job at creating these things and helping them support those people. 
Um, I agree with Hector. Um, those are some really good points to bring up. Um, I think that helping or pro- providing opportunities to people to know about those things because I'm I don't watch the news a lot. Uh, sorry, <laughs> um, but just creating opportunities to inform students about those or things going on in the world that need attention, I think is necessary just because I'm just not knowledgeable about the stuff going on in the world. Yeah, I feel like getting people informed is a very big deal, along with the whole Ukraine situation. I think ASUI did a great job with that. And I feel like hand in hand that goes along with pride and what we think is right and helping out the people that are in need as in such the Ukrainians and getting them the help they want. And I feel like having the students that uh, know what's going on and having other people informed on what's going on is a big factor in this. Hector, uh, parking is generally among the first issues students cite in their complaints about their University of Idaho experience. Uh, What are some solutions you think should be explored? I feel with the amount of students that uh, the university has and the limited parking it has, I feel like uh, the university is doing everything to like accommodate to those needs. I feel like there's a lot of things that students can do, for example, that timed parking that you can have on campus, different levels of parking passes you can have at different prices. Maybe they can have um, different, for example, like special needs if there's like special circumstances where students aren't able to have or pay for those passes but really need really need it. I feel like setting up programs or events that can help with that would be important. Um, Like I said earlier, I think uh, Tanner and Madison have a really good plan for the uh, Uber system. Um, I also think that it would be beneficial just to honestly have the university like build, like somehow find the money to like construct a new parking lot just because it is a very big issue or um, utilize the spaces we already have and know that like certain parking lots the like gold parking lots aren't completely full during the day um, and maybe splitting that park or the parking lot in half and giving some of them to certain groups on campus. As what Bree said uh, Tanner and Madison I feel like have a lot of good ideas with this along with the Vandal Uber that they started last year and just getting enough drivers, I feel like, is a very big deal that we need to get. And just uh, having incentives to that, I feel like, are very big. And along with, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how long this would take, but the, uh, like, bird scooters, like, the e- the electric scooters would be a very good idea. Um, with uh, the transportation for students across campus, with the parking and whatnot, it would cut down on that. And it would get uh, kind of a fun way for people to transport themselves to class and other things. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what Blake said, I know Tanner and Madison are really working um, with the transportation department. Um, they already have with the Uber, and I know they plan on working uh, to get those scooters, which is a two-seater electric vehicle, which is green um, and sustainable for campus, but also really fun. I mean, how fun it would be to just go up one of those hills in a little a little scooter thing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm really, I'm really excited to work with, um, hopefully work with them on that. And um, yeah, I just love that solution. All right. So Bree, starting with you, uh, when the position of your constituency differs from your own, how do you plan to respond to this difference if it arises? Uh, would you see yourself voting in accordance with your personal beliefs or putting the position of your constituents above your own? Um, I... Um, I believe that I would kind of go in the middle a little bit. I um, I personally would, when they approach me, I think I would just be open-minded and kind of just listen to them, um, as well as like kind of explaining my views just to, so that they are knowledgeable about it too. Um, and then when considering a vote, I think I would consider like both sides and maybe kind of compromise for both, if that makes sense. Um, with so I feel like I would put forth a little, uh, quite a bit of that towards my vote, and along with what the students want uh, for the most part, I feel like 
because I know I- ideals and ideas and what people have are a big influence on this, but I feel like what the students want more is more important than putting my own uh, ideals uh, into it. Yeah, so I think it's really important to um, representation. We are here to represent students. Um, and while we might have our own personal beliefs, um, I believe that we should be reflective of what our constituents would believe and um, feel and the evidence that they provide and just the way they feel about certain issues. Um, I kind of like what Bree said about trying to find a compromise. Um, in that way, I would like talk to people who um, were with a differing opinion. I would come to them with evidence um, of what I believed and what they believed and we'd try to find a way to work in the, work in the middle um, somewhere and um, really get the best solution for uh, the people on this campus. Yeah, so I feel like I've dealt with a lot of things like this. Uh, it could differ from just my roommates up to my fraternity positions where we've had disagreements or different views on things. I feel like the best way to handle this is to listen to as many opinions as possible with an open mind make sure to think about things logically and what could benefit most people or the majority of the people, and then just have uh, votes in order to come with decisions. Well, we'd like to thank the candidates for attending tonight, Idaho Public Television and our crew in the control room and behind the cameras. Voting begins April 11th at 8 a.m. and will close on April 13th at 5 p.m. The link will be sent to your student emails. If you vote in the election, you will automatically be entered into a drawing for three $25 Vandal store gift cards. Election results will be announced on the 13th following Senate in the ASUI Lounge. For Sierra Pesnell, Royce McCandless, I'm John Webb. Have a great night.